Welcome to the DEF CAM. The official communication from Pakistan's Air Force showing the image of the 5th generation J-35 stealth fighter alongside what appears to be the PFX Alpha marks a crucial signal of intent in the regional aerospace balance. The visual disclosure, part of the media release during the Air Chief Marshal's visit to Romania, was not accidental. It was a calculated message reflecting how Pakistan's air power strategy is transitioning toward full-spectrum deterrence built on stealth, electronic sovereignty, and advanced sensor fusion. The absence of the Turkish KN from the frame is equally notable, implying a narrowing of priorities and alignment with systems already under practical evaluation and integration study. From a technical perspective, the J-35 represents a twin-engine, low-observable, multi-role combat aircraft developed to achieve radar signature suppression through advanced shaping, internal weapon bays, and composite material skin coatings. Its architecture is designed to minimize radar cross-section not only in frontal aspect, but across all quadrants, allowing survivability in dense radar environments. The platform's serpentine inlet ducts, sawtooth edge design, and active radar absorbent material coating enable low observability across centimeter and millimeter wave bands. Its sensor suite integrates an active electronically scanned array radar, distributed electro-optical apertures, and a long-range infrared search and track system feeding into a sensor fusion core that allows detection, identification, and engagement of threats while remaining electronically silent. For Pakistan, Associating with such a platform signals an operational requirement that extends beyond conventional deterrence. The focus is not merely to acquire a stealth aircraft, but to build the doctrinal ecosystem that supports fifth-generation operations, encompassing data link architecture, secure communications, artificial intelligence-supported decision aids, and wide-area electronic warfare integration. The J-35 in Pakistani evaluation fits into a vision of establishing electromagnetic dominance and multi-domain coordination. Its two-engine configuration suits maritime patrol strike, long-range interception, and deep penetration reconnaissance missions, filling capability gaps identified after observing adversary developments in sensor and standoff weapon integration. Alongside the J-35, the visual reference to the PFX Alpha suggests the maturity of Pakistan's own indigenous modernization trajectory. The PFX Alpha program aims to transform the JF-17 from a fourth-generation multi-role fighter into a hybrid platform bridging into fifth-generation technology space. The inclusion of this aircraft in the same frame as the J-35 signifies technological continuity, not competition. It means that Pakistan's air planners envision a tiered force structure where locally produced fighters evolve toward high autonomy, indigenous avionics, and full-spectrum digital architecture compatible with stealth networked operations. Technically, the PFX Alpha configuration is expected to include an advanced radar system using solid-state transmit-receive modules capable of electronic attack and agile frequency hopping. The digital backbone of the aircraft is being designed for high-speed data processing and integration with future electronic warfare pods and optical targeting systems. Its avionics suite will be fully open architecture to allow domestic upgrades without reliance on external coding. The airframe, while retaining the JF-17 lineage, is expected to incorporate radar-absorbent coatings, improved canopy shaping, and internal wiring optimized for reduced electromagnetic emissions. The emphasis on low observability, secure networking, and indigenous component production underscores Pakistan's ambition to control its entire combat digital ecosystem. The official release thus serves several layered messages. The first is external signaling to regional powers that Pakistan's next-generation air strategy is advancing beyond incremental upgrades. The second is internal alignment, projecting confidence to domestic industrial and defense sectors that the country is on a self-reliant trajectory. The third is diplomatic, highlighting that Pakistan's cooperation matrix extends globally, as demonstrated by the Air Chief's presence in Europe, while the showcase systems remain centered on Asian technology cooperation, indicating diversified strategic engagement rather than dependency. The omission of the Turkish KN in the displayed footage draws analytical attention. Turkey's fifth-generation fighter remains under testing, 
and has yet to reach operational maturity. The absence likely reflects Pakistan's assessment of technological timelines, integration feasibility, and software sovereignty. It does not exclude future collaboration, but reveals prioritization of systems that can be operationalized sooner and aligned with existing logistical frameworks. Moreover, the Chinese origin of the J-35 allows seamless data link compatibility with current air defense and early warning networks already deployed in Pakistan. This ensures that introducing a new stealth type will not disrupt command integration or require external control codes. The symbolism of releasing such imagery during an overseas engagement suggests controlled information dissemination designed to calibrate regional perception. Pakistan's strategic communication has evolved toward quiet assertiveness, preferring subtle technological cues over verbal confrontation. By placing the J-35 and PFX Alpha visually within the official narrative, the Air Force signals that its modernization is not theoretical but operationally tangible. Each frame of the released material was likely vetted for messaging precision, ensuring that adversaries interpret it as confirmation of advanced capability alignment rather than aspirational marketing. Technically, this move also underscores Pakistan's growing mastery in systems integration. Modern air power depends not only on aircraft, but on data fusion across radar, electro-optical, and communication nodes. Integrating a stealth aircraft into existing network-centric operations requires rewriting protocols for sensor prioritization, data encryption, and mission planning algorithms. By publicly associating with a stealth fighter program, Pakistan demonstrates confidence in its ability to handle these complex transitions. It implies that local software houses, electronic research laboratories, and command centers are already preparing for stealth era data handling, spectrum control, and adaptive command loops. From a defense industrial perspective, this revelation may also accelerate domestic R&D. The display of fifth-generation platforms stimulates local engineering institutions to focus on materials science, radar absorption, electromagnetic testing, and miniaturized electronics. Each element of a stealth fighter, from composite panels to embedded antennas, offers a learning vector for national technology growth. By showcasing the J-35 and PFX Alpha together, Pakistan emphasizes the dual path of external collaboration and indigenous evolution. Operationally, the deployment of such aircraft would redefine regional air combat calculus. Stealth platforms carrying beyond visual range precision missiles and supported by advanced electronic warfare suites can shape the electromagnetic environment before kinetic engagement. For Pakistan, this means deterring adversaries through denial of detection rather than pure firepower. The doctrine shifts towards shaping the battle space by controlling spectrum, timing, and information flow. This approach is evident in how the Air Force's public posture has increasingly highlighted network readiness, data fusion, and long-range strike precision rather than raw numbers of platforms. The Romanian visit also adds a dimension of diplomatic balancing. Romania, as a NATO member, provides a context where Pakistan's engagement demonstrates international legitimacy and openness to multi-vector cooperation while maintaining independent defense partnerships. Such engagements provide exposure to Western aerospace protocols and standardization frameworks, which can indirectly aid Pakistan's own quality assurance and certification processes. This interaction builds confidence that Pakistan's aerospace trajectory can align with international operational standards while maintaining strategic autonomy. The broader implication of the release is psychological. In regional perception, imagery of stealth technology projects power projection capability without explicit escalation. It suggests a future in which Pakistan's air deterrent cannot be easily tracked, targeted, or neutralized. The message to adversaries is clear. Traditional radar dominance no longer guarantees strategic advantage. Simultaneously, the message to Pakistan's own scientific and military communities is one of trust. That indigenous talent is ready to participate in the world's most demanding aerospace frontier. By intertwining the J-35 and PFX Alpha narratives, the Air Force positions itself at the intersection of global collaboration and national innovation. It indicates that Pakistan is not waiting for imported solutions, but actively shaping its own integrated aerospace future.
The release of such imagery at this stage reflects confidence that these programs have matured beyond early design studies and have entered a phase where operational doctrines and network compatibility are being validated. In essence, the brief but carefully constructed footage encapsulates Pakistan's strategic transition into the stealth and digital warfare era, an evolution defined not by rhetoric, but by deliberate, verifiable technological progress that secures the nation's skies in the coming decades. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.